what's up YouTube land, Eddie Hill, and I am trying that video again. I made a mistake in the text box. So we're going to review again, try this again, and we're doing our top 10 favorite Transformers. And I chose the best in my collection. First on this list would have to be my number one Optimus Prime in my entire collection. It's got to be Earthrise Optimus. The best looking Optimus Prime and close to MP10 style that I like. Because its matrix is a whole lot easier than the power of the Primes to get out. That's why this guy is number one in my Prime collection and my number one favorite. So that's all there is to say for Prime. Next on the list, I'm going to have to give it up to my number two bot. It's none other than Jetfire. And yeah, Jetfire rocks. And this is the best version of the G1 Jetfire from the animation. That's why he's number two on the list. Because I like him so much. Number three. Hands down, it's going to be Earthrise Cliff Jumper for being the best Cliff Jumper and more accurate to the G1. And yes, I have as the backpack because I covered up the wheels. Because he's Cliff Jumper. He's awesome. And that's why I like him so much. Number three, we're going to say, would be the best G1 expired sound wave, close to the Bumblebee movie sound wave as possible. It's the re-release of the Titans Return sound wave. It's the Bumblebee movie exclusive sound wave. And he can launch cassettes from his chest. He's awesome. He's amazing. So glad I have him in my Movieverse collection. So I'm going to put him back on the shelf. And that was number four. At number five would have to go to Earthrise Wheeljack. Because he's the scientist who made the auto. Scientist who made the Dinobot. Sorry, I had to correct myself there. And he's awesome. And he turns into a race car. And that was number five. At number... Number six is going to have to go to my boy. It would have to go to none other than... Bruticus. And yes, number six is Bruticus. And this is a KO from China with the Prime Wars blast off as his main arm. And I love Bruticus. So that's why he's at number six. At number seven, he's going to have to go to, we all know him as Siege Red Alert. And this is the best version of Red Alert I have in my collection. I do not have the Universe Classics Red Alert. But this guy may be a remold, a sideswipe, but it's the best remold. If I do say so myself. Plus he turned into a fire. Rescue. Police car. Thing. I do not know the proper term. If you know. Please leave me a comment. At number. Eight. Is going to have to go to. Energonic Niter. Bumblebee. Because I like Bumblebee. And he's close to the G1, 
No one, I never owned the G1 because I wasn't around that time. But Bumblebee's awesome. Thank you, Bumblebee Movie, for giving us this great figure. And I do not have the Studio Series 1. I will plan on getting the KO Studio Series Bumblebee Movie, Bumblebee and Optimus. But for now, this guy will do in my collection as a fill-in. At number 9. Hands down, we're going to give the best-looking Transformer and close to G1 Trypticon as possible, Titan's Return Trypticon. And you're probably asking me, am I going to buy Brunt to go with Trypticon? I might think about it. Because Trypticon would look great with Brunt beside him. And he's Trypticon. He's going to squash Metroplex. And yes, he has Battle Masters as cannons. But I love those arm cannons I gave him. I love extra firepower. Yeah! I love saying that word. And number 10 is going to have to go to Last Night Movie. Megatron because he's the best Megatron he's better than the than the original Michael Bay Megatron and I'm so glad I have this guy in my collection because he is a hardcore bad to the bone Megatron mess with this guy you're gonna be done for <laughs> Because he's Megatron. He's terrifying. And look at that face. Now that's evil. If you like this video, please leave me a like. Please leave me a comment. And I'll make sh sure to post that hoist video when I get Earthrise hoist. Which I am doing this Saturday. And that's all there is to say for this video. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.